Hey y'all, my name is Mogi Beth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, um, I'm a full-time reseller, which means I sell used and new attack clothes for a discount on um, primarily the Poshmark app. And if you haven't downloaded the app yet, definitely do so. Reselling is such an amazing way to make extra money in 2020. Uh, download the app and use my code MOGIBETH for $10 off your first purchase because you can also find tons of cool stuff to buy on there as well. Um, but yeah, I did this full time. So it's really cool. I love my job. And I brought y'all along with me on the most fun part of my job, which is sourcing the items that I sell uh, both on Saturday and Monday. And so today is Tuesday. And so Saturday I started off going to the Goodwill outlet, which is basically a place where you buy uh, clothing by the pound. They are in these big giant bins. You'll see, I bring you in a little bit. And I went with my friend Chrissy, who is just such an amazing person, you have to follow her. Uh, but I'll link her down her YouTube channel uh, because down below in the description because she's really, really so intelligent, so experienced, such a wealth of knowledge, definitely follow her. Started off my uh, trip to the Goodwill outlet that morning, only spent about an hour and a half there because what I was really looking for, and I found a few pieces, uh, were items to take to Crossroads to uh, trade in. I did end up going to Crossroads on Saturday, one location, and then the other location in Portland I went to on Monday. But I also went to some Goodwills and found some really good stuff at Goodwill on uh, Saturday and Monday. So I bring you all uh, along with me into the store a little bit and I'm gonna do a voiceover just to talk you through what I was thinking but um, I'm also gonna do a haul at the end of this video if you want to just skip ahead to the haul I'll put the timestamp down in the description below but without further ado let's jump back in time to Saturday hey good morning y'all um, I've been up since 5 30 a.m. It is Saturday and I just got a little Starbucks because I am at the Goodwill outlet. I'm here for open. Um, I think it opens in a few minutes. So, oh my God, there's a line outside. I've never been here at open. Um, but I have been um, sourcing at the bins like a couple hours in the morning. Uh, this is my third time doing it this week and basically just getting stuff that I can take to Crossroads and so that I can get stuff I really want. Um, last time I bought about $30 worth of stuff at the Goodwill outlet. And two of the things were like leather coats that I'm gonna send a thread up, so those were heavy. I took the other stuff, to I washed it and took it to Crossroads and I got $60 worth of credit. So, and then I bought a bunch of stuff, it was really cool. So, hoping to do the same today. This uh, outlet, I don't have very much luck at this outlet, but I'm going with my friend Chrissy who goes here like every day so um yeah she's agreed to be in this video <laughs> all right i gotta go the line is really forming it's raining today um but yeah i have a full day of sourcing ahead of me so i wanted to bring y'all with me show you what the bins look like here um yeah and have some fun let's go see y'all inside okay if y'all have never been to a goodwill bins it, oh, I got my coffee. Um, it might not look like this in your home state. So um, it just depends on where you're located. In Oregon, they're really clean and organized. But, you know, in Oklahoma City, Kansas City, it wasn't like this. So this is me getting a cart, which often when I come in the afternoon, there are no carts available. So that's one advantage of going in the morning and why I really like going at 7 a.m. now. Um, this is my friend Chrissy, and y'all, I'll link her YouTube channel down below. She sells vintage and mainly on eBay, so she's just a really good resource and a really um, knowledgeable person. She was kind enough to film me going through one of the bins, and I'm not an expert at digging through the bins yet um, by any means, but basically I'm just feeling for something that's um, a higher quality fabric and then looking at the label. There are so many different strategies that you can use when you go to the bins and so I just take some time to figure it out and I'm still figuring mine out. Here are some things I picked up that I want to show y'all. So these are a pair of ASOS denim jeans that Crossroads did take. They did not take these American Eagle jeans um, so I'll send those in a thread up. And then this was a Madewell sweater at Crossroads. And most buy, sell, trade stores probably love Madewell. So any older style Madewell that doesn't necessarily sell well on Poshmark, uh, I recommend taking to buy, sell, trade. This is a mage purse. And y'all, if you don't know that brand, it's a really expensive brand. 
a beautiful brand, but that purse is actually deteriorating, which I didn't realize till later. And this is a pair of Madewell jeans. Took those to Crossroads too, um, and they took them. Hello. Okay, so the bins were good. I had a lot of fun with Chrissy. So it's what 9 30 9 40 now and I'm about to go into Goodwill. This is the Goodwill I went into a couple weeks ago and found Ace and Jig and I found uh, Everlane. So I'm super hopeful, really excited. Um, I did a little visualization. <laughs> uh, just like, you know, expressing gratitude for the things I'll find today and, and visualizing myself just being super happy and excited. So We'll see what we find. The first section I love to go to always is shoes. Um, I just look for something that's leather, something that's high quality, or something that is unique. These were cute from Loft, but I decided to pass. Um, these are really cute Jeffrey Campbell shoes. I almost picked them up, but then I noticed that flaw there and decided to pass. I don't like to pick up shoes that require a lot of work or cleaning. These are Daughter of the Liberation. I don't pick up Daughter of the Liberation. It's an old anthropology tag. This was Marine Layer, which is a good brand. I have no experience selling it, but uh, when I, I put it in my cart and when I went to look up the style, I really couldn't find it. So I decided not to get them. Oh, these were high height pants that I actually purchased on Poshmark way back when, but I didn't pick up. So it just goes to show, you know, how quickly things change. This was a new anthropology tag. Um, but I decided to pass based off style. Just red pair of pants wasn't doing it for me these days. Um, and then I headed over to the blazer section where I found one of my first finds, Rag and Bone. Uh, you'll see that in the haul later. This is Cartonier, another anthropology brand that I pass on most of the time these days. Um, but yeah, I... I uh, found a good amount of stuff at this thrift store, so I'm excited to show y'all later in the haul. Um, and then this is the new Zara tag, uh, which keep an eye out for that tag. I decided to pass on this piece, but generally I like stuff by them. Okay, so I found about three things. Well, no, I maybe four things actually to send to the Rail Rail. So I'm really excited. I am wanting to incorporate more the Rail Rail and Thread Up into my business model just because they are fairly easy things to just do regularly especially if I'm going to the bins every morning so but for certain items I will pay you know money at Goodwill like at the thrift store uh, for the real real so um, I think I'm excited about the things I found there that hopefully you know we'll see how they do i've only had like what three shipments for the real real and i've had some mixed results so we'll see how they do i think it's just a learning process you learn what sells there over time and what it sells for um i need to go eat some food i think it's like i spent some good time in there um i spent like over a hundred dollars a little over a hundred dollars so i need to go get some food and I need to then, I think, I need to, maybe I want to go to the bins, maybe go to another Goodwill. Then I need to swing by my office and grab the bag of stuff to take to Crossroads, and then I want to go to Crossroads. All right, let's go. Um, I hope this video is helpful, but I'll definitely do a haul. Here is my second Goodwill stop of the day on Saturday, and I just want to tell y'all, um, Reselling and sourcing requires a lot of patience, a lot of persistence, and a good podcast because you go through so many no's just to get to a yes. Um, I went through so many sections where I found nothing, including the pants and jeans section. Um, here I was going, I don't, I pass on those page, I don't like colored denim. Uh, I pass on those free people. They had those runs kind of in the upper thigh that skinny jeans tend to get when you wash them incorrectly. Um, I just went through so many things. There, those are Cartonier pants. Um, here are a pair of McGuire jeans, which I was so excited to find because McGuire is a great bolo brand, but it had one of those small runs. And so I passed. I don't like picking up things with flaws if I can help it. And here's the second outlet that I went to. I only spent about 30 minutes in here and I found a couple things, but um, I just wanted to show y'all what this one looks like. Pretty similar to the first one. Okay, it's now four o'clock. I am at my office now. I need to 
I'm gonna bring in all these bags, at least the ones that I um, I'm going to leave here. And then I'm gonna steam the clothes that I wanna to take to Crossroads, increase my odds of them taking it. Um, and then I am going to grab other clothes in there that I have to take to Crossroads. So, and then we'll head on over to Crossroads, which I'm really excited about. I really hope that I can find at least, you know, uh, 10 things, that'd be great. So, yeah, gotta go do some stuff. I'm also gonna do a couple measurements that people have requested. And I will be on my way to Crossroads. Pretty good sourcing day thus far. I gotta be back home by seven o'clock for my dinner party, so. All right, wish me luck. Here's the Crossroads that I went to on Saturday night. And with buy, sell, trade stores, you're really seeing great brands back to back to back. And so what I'm looking for generally is one of two things. Um, because they are so expensive, I'm either looking for a brand that sells really quickly on Poshmark for a lot of money and brands I'm thinking of in that category are like Ace and Jig or Girlfriend Denim or I'm looking for items that are still great quality but marked down to 50% off um, because Crossroads will uh, mark things down after a certain period of time. So um, I did find a good amount of things that were marked down to 50% off that I decided to pick up at this Crossroads. Y'all, oh my gosh. Okay, so last time we checked in, it was Saturday. Now it's Monday. Um, Saturday, I went to Crossroads. I traded in the stuff I found at the bins, along with some stuff I had found like a few days before at the bins. And I got $90 in trading credit, which was awesome. And I got some stuff there. So then today, you know, I was going to take that same stuff, some of the stuff that they didn't take, and take it to Crossroads, and I did. And I got 35 more dollars in trading credit and got a few things as well. And But this Crossroads, because there's two here in Portland, is next to a Goodwill. And so I was like, okay, I don't, I probably shouldn't go into Goodwill, but let's just go in for 30 minutes. <laughs> and, um, you know see if we can find anything real quick and they had three new racks out like you know that they're putting it away oh my gosh as soon as I went through those racks I was like okay I'm staying here longer than 30 minutes and I ended up spending like over $200 at good this Goodwill so I this haul is gonna be big I'm really excited to show you guys everything I found um, both on Saturday and today I'll do it tomorrow I'm gonna film the haul tomorrow so super excited okay us. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay, gear up y'all because this is a long haul. Here we go. Okay, so starting with Saturday, I went to that first Goodwill, which was amazing. I'm going to start out with three shoes that I found there. The first are these Paul Green shoes. Um, they just have a braided upper. Uh, they're suede. So something to know with Paul Green is that on here it says six. But this is a UK sizing. If you ever find Paul Green shoes, look up a conversion size chart because these are probably what more like an eight and a half or something like that. Um, but they are just have a short little stacked heel, a really good kind of sandal for summertime with a peep toe, you know, an open back. I think it'll be really, really good shoe for the spring summertime. So I was happy to find these. And then I found these Madewell sandals. I actually found another uh, pair of Madewell shoes, but I ended up taking those to Crossroads and I'm glad I did. They had a little bit too much wear for me to feel comfortable um, selling them on Poshmark, but Crossroads snatched them up and definitely gave me more money than I spent, so I was very happy about that. Um, these though were in really good condition if you can look at the sole there. Um, they really are in great condition. There is a little bit of wear on the toe, if you can see that, but um, overall, just a really good crisscross strap uh, sandal for the summer. And I love selling Maywell shoes, y'all. But my favorite shoe that I found were these. Stuart Weitzman's. Ah, uh, this is the uh, new Stuart Weitzman tag that um, I recognize because I do sell Stuart Weitzman in retail arbitrage, which is a benefit of doing retail arbitrage because you become more aware with what the newer tags look like. You become more aware with what newer styles look like. Um, so even if you don't want to do retail arbitrage, I would recommend just going into, you know, a retail store, a major 
a department store, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's if you have one in your area. And just doing a little bit of shopping, just doing a little bit of browsing so that you can come, become familiar with what consumers are basically looking for these days. So this is a um, the newer tag of Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman has been around a really long time, so um, I really prefer to sell his, the newer uh, shoes by them, but these are so cute. They have this pink suede upper, a pointy, really, really pointy toe, and then they're just basically a little short kind of mule uh, with this really skinny square heel. So yes, love these. Whenever you see shoes with leather soles, it's a good indicator that it's a high quality shoe. Of course, Stuart Weitzman shoes have leather soles, so they do have a little bit of wear on the toe here. And y'all, I have marker on my fingers, so, cause I was getting the, <laughs> I was getting the marks off the tags earlier. So just, you know, don't mind me. Okay, so the first clothing piece I wanted to show y'all that I found in the first Goodwill that I went to was this Eileen Fisher jumpsuit. I love the gray, um, the marled gray color of this jumpsuit. Here's the tag, in case y'all don't know. There are t so many Eileen Fisher tags out there. Uh, this is the newest one, I believe, and it's the one that I tend to gravitate towards and pick up. Um, and if you guys watched my video, and I'll link it you know, somewhere here, of the uh, sales I had in 2019 that were over $100, I think at least three items that I sold on that list were Eileen Fisher jumpsuits. Granted, those were new with tag, but I was so excited to find this one because it's a size large, which is a great size, and I really, really love this color. I mean, the pockets in here, the whole construction, so cute and so comfy. I was so excited to find this. And then I found another romper, and this is an older kind of style, I think, but I looked up comps on this one, oops, and um, they seem to do well. It is an 11Zs uh, romper. I think it's really cute and I really like this fabric. Um, it's kind of a black like crisscross knit. I'll show you the tag. It's a size four. I really, really like picking up rompers and jumpsuits heading into spring because um, people love to create you know an entire outfit with just one piece and a romper is a really easy fun like movable way of doing that um so yeah look at the comments on this it was good uh, this is an anthropology brand of course and so yeah okay my next piece is a, a mod cloth piece it is a size 4x which i was super excited about because I have a very hard time finding good plus size clothing, but this one I think fits the bill. It is a green wrap dress that's really easy to wear to work, day to day casually, um, and it has a roll tab sleeve. And I checked comps on this one and comps were really good, so I was excited to find it. I'm always excited to find good plus size clothing. The next is so, y'all I'm saying I'm so excited about every piece, but I really was. This new it tag MBD dress, which is a Revolve brand. Um, such a beautiful mini dress. It's got this deep V cut with this lace inset, which I think is just gorgeous. And then it has lace on the hem as well. This would be a really, really perfect bachelorette or bride bridal shower dress. Um, but it's also just a great dress for, you know, when people start wearing white again because they have summer tans and they want to look fabulous. Okay, so another wrap dress and y'all, my favorite brand to sell wrap dresses from. Did I not tell you I had good luck at this thrift store? Diane von Furstenberg. Okay, I found two Diane von Furstenberg wrap dresses in 2019 and they both sold in January. One for $100 and one for $85, so I I'm all about Diane von Furstenberg wrap dresses right now and was so excited to find this one. This one is 100% silk. I'm super excited to check comps. I didn't even check comps on it because I was just like, yep, it is going in my cart. <laughs> but I really like the print. It's a size, what, six. And just really, really, really cute. All right, I think I showed this in the video, but I found this rag and bone blazer. It is a size zero. There is the inside tag, and it is a wool blazer with lambskin leather trim. 
on the uh, lapel here and on the front pockets. It's a really pretty olive green color. I am debating on selling this on Poshmark or sending it into the Real Rail. I did see on the Real Rail listed at a different size um, and it wasn't performing like extraordinarily well so I'm going back and forth. I can't find a really good stock photo on it but um, yeah we'll see. I'm really excited about sending more stuff into the real world. And the next piece is one I'm going to try to send into them as well. Uh, this is not a brand that is on their list, but I'm going to take a photo of it and send it to my the Real Rail contact. When you start selling on the Real Rail, they'll assign you a contact based on where you're located. And this brand, which I don't know if y'all know about, I found in the men's section. It is Billy Reed. Billy Reed is a really expensive menswear brand and I actually know about it because my boyfriend found it. We, I took him to Crossroads one, like the only time I was able to convince him to go into Crossroads with me and he found a coat by Billy Reed and he started freaking out because it's the coat that James Bond wore and I don't know, Quantum Solace or something. And it's a really, really expensive brand. So I was thinking about oh, it's the James Bond brand. <laughs> and I was actually going through the men's uh, blazers and I found two. This was the first one. I was just going through the men's blazers. And the thing about the men's blazers is that there's not a brand up here. They're all on, on the inside pocket, right? And so I was like, what am I even looking for? I wasn't opening the jackets. I was just kind of going through them. And since I couldn't look at the tags, I was like, I don't really know what I'm looking for. But then I saw this, it said made in Italy on this little tag. And it's a really uh, well-constructed coat. So I stopped, I opened it up. And this is the first one I looked at and it was Billy Reed. And I was just like, dang, my reseller senses are really, <laughs> <laughs> growing in their strength and power. I was really, really excited about it. Um, so yeah, I'll send that to my real, real rep, and if she doesn't want to take it, then I'll see if my boyfriend wants it. He kind of was trying to get me to let him keep it. Um, or I'll sell it on Poshmark. So, um, very, very good find. But then also in the mentor section, y'all, I found this, Acris Punto. Am I pronouncing it right? Acris Punto. Uh, very expensive. This is actually the diffusion line of Acris or the cheaper uh, line of Acris, but it is also still accepted by the Real Real. So um, I am going to send this one to the Real Real, Real for sure. Um, but it is a highly desired brand over there. And this piece has mesh inserts on the side, which is so cool. But otherwise, it's just a really professional looking black blazer, but then it has this really awesome uh, detail on the sides there. So I'm excited to see how this one does over on uh, the Real Real. I actually have another Acris Punto uh, blazer to send into them as well this week. So we will see. I've never sold this brand over there. So to be determined on how that does, but I'm really excited. This is the other piece I am sending into the Real Real. I think maybe y'all saw me find this. It is Marnie. I've never found this brand. I need to wash that a little better. Um, but I've never found this brand. I was so excited to find it. It's a very expensive designer, beautiful designer, but it is so cute. It just has so many details on it. I can't even begin to describe them all, like all these drawstrings and this industrial looking zipper and this uh, like elastic band. So cool. Uh, I'm hopeful that this will do well over on the rail rail. And the reason I'm sending it there instead of selling on my Poshmark is because um, I do think it's important to really kind of hone in on your business model, get really focused on what it is that you want to sell in your closet. I mean, I think this is important for me. It's something that I've learned over time. Other resellers have different strategies. And then any kind of subsequent thing that you want to reach into, um, find a new avenue to sell those uh, items in. So for cheaper items that I know still have value that I don't necessarily want to sell on Poshmark, I'm sending to Thread Up, And then for the more expensive items, I'm sending to the Real Real. And I don't have to do anything. I just have to find the item, send it off. And it's just another stream of revenue. I think the more streams of revenue you can have as a self-employed, you know, single member LLC, <laughs> which is what I am, uh, the better. All right. I actually have this 
sweater. Oh, so this is the um, next Goodwill that I went to. I only found three pieces at this Goodwill. Uh, the first is a sweater that I actually do have for sale already in my Poshmark closet. I have a new tags size large of this sweater, so it will be re really easy for me to list. But this is a J. Crew medium. It's I think called the popcorn cable knit sweater. Just really, really cute. I love white sweaters in the winter. And so this is a thick knit, really well constructed one that I was excited to find. The next is another sweater I sell fairly often. This is called, I think, the Faux Wrap Pullover and the Coziest Yarn by Madewell. I've sold this in many colors. I have it available in many colors in my closet. I really enjoy selling this sweater. I've never sold it in a red though, so I was excited to find this one. Um, it is a size medium. This is such, it's called the Coziest Yarn, but it really is so, so soft. And I know we are transitioning out of the cold weather months, but you know, when you find good pieces, no matter the season, I think it's worth picking them up. And then the last piece that I found at that thrift store is a brand I've never thrifted, but I have sold retail arbitrage, Rachel Parcel. I was so excited to find this because it marked off my thrifting bolo list. Uh, it's really pretty button front midi skirt with this eyelet cutout and it's fully lined. A really great construction. It looks like linen, let me check. If not linen, it's definitely cotton, um, which is great for the summertime because I like natural fabrics uh, when it, I, well, I like natural fabrics all the time, but especially in the summer because it gets so hot that um, you don't wanna you know, be sweating through synthetic fabrics. So the shell is 100% linen and then the lining is 100% cotton. So I love this piece, very, very cute, size small. All right, and then like I said, I went to um, one more Goodwill outlet. I found two things there. I think I, then I headed to my office and I went to Crossroads. Y'all, I got $90 or $95 worth of trade-in credit at Crossroads, which was so surprising to me. I was so excited because I didn't expect them to take that much. And I got a few things at that location. The first is this And Other Stories uh, denim kind of pencil skirt, which I thought was really cute. Uh, really good if you work at kind of a more casual workplace. I think this would be really good because it's a denim skirt, but it's not too short. Uh, it's a size six. I'll show you all the tag. I love selling and other stories. This is also in really good condition. If you can see the leather patch here looks like it has very little wear to it. So yeah, I was excited about this. High, it looks like it's high waisted, which would be great with so many different blouses um, and decided to pick it up. Um, I paid up for this one, but it's because I am loving selling good American jeans right now. If I could have an endless supply of good American jeans, I would. Uh, last couple weeks, I picked up two good American jeans in the thrift store and they both sold within 24 hours for $50, I think both of them. So um, when I found these, I kind of was like, okay, if that same system still applies to these, which these are in impeccable condition. And I really love the wash on these, this dark wash. I'm really into dark wash right now. Um, if that still, you know, concept same applies, still applies, then these will be worth the picking up. So um, yeah, pick these up. They are the Good Legs jeans, which is just a high rise skinny jean. And it's a size 29 dark wash with the distressing on the knee. And another way I can tell it of the condition of the jeans is if there's any distressing, if these little uh, kind of threads are still intact, I know it's in good quality, it hasn't been washed too much, because if it's washed too much, you know, these will all start to fall out, uh, which is fine. You can still sell jeans like that. You know, I'm, I'm wearing jeans like that right now, but I think when you can find the jeans that still have those little threads intact, it's definitely a bonus. Okay, so this is Rivet and Thread, which is through Madewell. Um, so this is a pair of Madewell jeans. And these are kind of a wide leg boyfriend style that um, has some cool distressing, some cool like patchwork there. Um, these are a size 29 and I checked comps on these and they uh, comps looked great. Definitely a high rise, just really comfy, cute pair of jeans. Um, this was on the half off rack and it is a really cute kimono with 
these tassels on the sleeves and just a really cool like black and white print with this kind of a diagonal uh, lining going toward the seam and this is a free people medium slash large this is actually an older style but uh, i just thought this this style is pretty timeless you know like i could definitely see them putting this out today so i went ahead and decided to pick it up and i think kimonos of course are still in style and people are still looking for them and so the last piece that i picked up from the first trip to crossroads was this really cute uh, anthropology Aryan Alley uh, striped sweater pomped pom midi skirt. I'll show you all the tag. It's a size eight. I love this piece. It's such a unique piece. I love sweater skirts. Like I have a couple from anthropology that I'll never probably let go of because they're so unique and so beautiful and they really do last a long time so uh, when i found this i was like okay i definitely want to look up comps and i looked up comps comps look good so i want to try it out i think it's a good size it's really unique really cute good piece okay so that was all of saturday uh, and then um, Sunday, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Woohoo! Uh, I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life, obviously. I grew up in Kansas, and in Kansas, the Chiefs are everything. But on Monday, I went to uh, Crossroads again. I needed to return something, and I was like, okay, I'll just take the same stuff that they didn't take at the first one. And uh, they took, I think I got $35 worth of trade in credit there. So I got a few things that were half off. The first is this blank NYC fringe vegan leather jacket. It is a size small. It's an excellent condition. I think this is a really great uh, piece for spring because people will be transitioning into lighter jackets, uh, primarily denim jackets, leather jackets. So I'm always looking for, you know, those kind of lighter weight jackets. And so I think this is a really good one. And it's super fun. You could see someone wearing this to a music festival. And of course, music festivals will start in the spring as well. And then I picked up this Free People. It's like a chambray denim bomber jacket almost with a lot of distressing throughout and comps looked really good on this piece so i was excited to find it uh, this is a size medium um okay and then i found this anthropology high high jumpsuit it's a chambray jumpsuit with the crisscross back and i really liked it because it's a size 12 and i think larger sizes and anthropology are definitely good to pick up. Um, I would love to find plus size in anthropology, but I think anthropology only rolled out plus size one or two years ago. So it's probably gonna take a little bit of time for it to make it into the secondhand market. I haven't found any, I don't think, but so when I found this in the size 12, I was really excited. I think it's so cute. And again, jumpsuits are really great for the season we're going into. Okay, y'all. After that crossroads, I was like, I do not need to go to another Goodwill. I should not go to Goodwill. Um, I have plenty of stuff to list. <laughs> but I was like, but let's just go in for 30 minutes. And um, it, didn't, it w didn't take 30 minutes because I found such good stuff, like I told y'all earlier. So all this stuff is from that Goodwill. It's a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, grab a drink, grab a snack. We're gonna keep going into what I found there. Okay, this is, I need to clean this tag better, but this is a Angel of the North. This is the new Angel of the North tag. Um, the older tag, maybe I'll try to pop it up on the screen. It's one I don't pick up much anymore. This is what they call a sweater coat. Whenever I find something like this, first I will search duster cardigan because it's a long cardigan. Um, but then I looked up sweater coat and I found it. It's really pretty, uh, really unique, rare piece. I think it's fairly recent. Um, and it's just got this really pretty print and these really big patch pockets on the front, open front, no closures, really great piece, size small. I was super excited to find that. I'm starting to 
really plan out the anthropology video in my head. I haven't forgotten about it. Um, I just really kind of wanted to experiment with more anthropology stuff that I thrifted recently before I gave advice on it. So I've been picking up a lot of anthropology, seeing what's selling, seeing what's not, and I have a pretty good formula in my head for what I'm picking up now. But this was one that I was excited to pick up. Um, the next is also an anthropology sweater. It is a moth size large. I didn't get the uh, mark grab this one, but I love this piece. I wish it was my size. And in fact, I might look for it in my size. It's just this really cool, it's like a single cut almost um, sweater because there's no seam here, right? And it's ribbed this way and then it has ribbing along the bottom on the opposite direction, big cow neck and just incredibly soft. I love this sweater. This is the type of sweater I am obsessed with because it's so cozy and it just feels like you could just drink coffee and snuggle up and be warm and that's all you want in winter anyway, right? Um, and then I found, okay, so another rivet and thread, thread. Again, this is Madewell. This I was so excited to find. I think it's so cute. It says, keep on keeping on. It is a sweatshirt with this uh, raw hem. It's really soft as well. This is an extra, extra small, but I think it could be worn with an extra small because it is uh, pretty oversized. I definitely considered keeping it, but I have enough sweatshirts, um, but this is really cute and I love the saying and everything. I don't find a lot of like cute graphic sweatshirts, but I found two this time, so I was incredibly excited. This is Free People. This is a size small, but this is a, it says California 79. It's got that kind of raglan look, uh, raglan sleeves with the stripes on the sleeves as well. This is definitely oversized as Free People typically is. And um, yeah, just really, really cute red and white sweatshirt with that big scoop neck. Okay. I rarely find reformation in thrift store. I think I found it once in the thrift store. So when I found this, well, actually I found another one before this one. <laughs> yeah, I found two reformation pieces at this Goodwill. I know, it's insane. Um, I was so excited. This is a size small. I don't know how recent this piece is. Again, I didn't check comps on this one either because I was like, Reformation, yes. Just, yes, I'm going to get it. And I don't think our Goodwills know about Reformation yet. So if, if I hope Goodwill employees are not watching this. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is a 100% linen shift dress with these patch, cool diagonal patch pockets and a deep V. Just a really good piece for summer, for spring, for vacation, for spring break. Um, and this really pretty oatmeal color. Love this piece. Okay, so the next piece I found, I was so excited. I'm going on vacation in a couple weeks to Mexico for my boyfriend and I's nine year anniversary. So I'm definitely in the vacation mindset. So when I found this piece, I was like, yes, I might keep it if it doesn't sell by then um, or just take it with me on vacation. It is Zara. This is the new um, Zara logo. It's got that serif print that is stacked together. It's a size small. This 80s inspired vintage vacation print is just giving me life. Apparently you're supposed to tie this according to what like the stock photo says. But um, yeah, cropped, button down, cute print, really. I'm loving selling Zara, actually, the newer Zara stuff, especially the shoes. If you find some really cute Zara shoes, um, they're selling so fast for me right now. Definitely know the new Zara label, keep on the lookout for it, especially the shoes. All right, and y'all, I don't pick up this brand much anymore, but for the price that this was listed at and for the style, I decided to go for it. It's a romper, 100% silk, really cute print, size medium. I would think someone will love taking this with them on spring break. So I went ahead and picked it up and was super excited to find it. Just a really gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Again, I love silk. It's a natural fabric and it breathes during the summertime. So um, yes, i all about that natural, <laughs> breathable fabric. All right, this is a brand. Do y'all know this brand? This is a brand that's sold at Revolve and it has a really good resale value. And this dress, you know, Cleo Bella is the brand. It's a size small. Um, this dress, it didn't really 
look like much on the rack, but when it's actually worn, it's really, really cute. I think it's because it's got this really low back and it's really fun um, tassels on the hem and the columns on this dress were really good. So I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, but yeah, Cleo Bella is definitely a brand to know. And if you find anything by them, definitely look up comps. Okay, I actually didn't check comps on this <laughs> at all. And I never pick up uh, J. Crew denim anymore. So I don't know what possessed me to pick this up, but I really thought these were such good quality. And I really like the wash. Um, and they're from, I think, 2018. So this is the nine inch uh, high rise toothpick jean by j crew in a size 27 um and these are a black high rise skinny jean obviously i just really like the whiskering detail i just thought this was a really perfect pair of black jeans and maybe since i'm in the market for a pair of black jeans i was thinking oh, i'll just go ahead and pick these up i don't know how well these will do to be honest i'm uh, not necessarily recommending you go out and pick up J. Crew denim because whenever I check comps, it just for some reason it's really saturated. Even that newer tag, which this is the newer one, you know, the one in cursive. Um, even there, even that newer denim, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't do super well on Poshmark, but I decided to pick that one up. We'll see how it does. Um, and then I found Everlane, and this actually does have a flaw. Uh, the threading is coming loose on the back pocket here, so I will note that in the listing. But these are a pair of, again, high-rise uh, skinny jeans, and these are kind of a more rigid denim, but I was so excited to find these. I honestly might keep these. I need to try them on um, because they are size 26, ankle length, and again, like I said, I'm looking for black pair of skinny jeans. So um, I love selling Everlane denim. It sells super fast. Everlane denim and good American denim and honestly Madewell denim. I'm really, really loving and gold. Um, and then there's Redone and Girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just listing like 10 denim brands, but those are the ones that I really just keep an eye out for and try to pick up whenever I find them. Okay, y'all, I mentioned I found another Reformation piece. This is it. This is the first one I found. It was on the new racks, and it is a striped turtleneck dress. I don't know how much I'll actually get for this dress. I haven't checked comps at all, like I said, um, but hey, Reformation, I will take it. And again, they didn't mark it up, so super excited, and I actually really just love this dress, so if it's super saturated on Poshmark, I'll just keep it. I love selling this brand. Oh my gosh, I've never found it in the thrift store. So, was super excited to find these high rise gray skinny jeans by them. Le Jeans, really expensive brand. I think I went over, I might have gone over it in one of my brand videos. If not, maybe I'll include it in a future one. But this is the other Le Jeans piece I found and I think I'm gonna keep it because there are a couple flaws, but I love this piece. It's got this little um, button closure here, 100% silk, wrap around uh, blouse that's cropped and then has this cool button detail on the back. It does have a couple flaws, like I said, it's got like a couple stains here and then a little run on the shoulder here that's really barely noticeable. But I just love this so much. I don't know how much I would actually get for it on Poshmark. So to me, for the quality, I think it'd be worth it for me to keep. But I'm going to try it on and see. And if not, I'll sell it on Poshmark. Okay, and then I went through the skirt section, which I very rarely go through the skirt section. But when, the, when someone has donated a lot of stuff to Goodwill, like you notice you're just finding good stuff, I just will decide to go through every section in the store. And I went through every single section in the store and I found, you know, some good skirts. This is a Lulu skirt. It's a midi length button front skirt. It has pockets. Just a really, really cute skirt that I thought was perfect for the spring and summer. It's got a pretty big slit on the side, so it's super cute. Love this. Very excited to find this velvet mini skirt, made well, button front, in a size 12. So, again, I don't find, for some reason, made well size 12 very often, so I was very excited to find this piece in this kind of like buttery caramel color. Really, really cute. And then I found another made well skirt. 
this mini corduroy one, which is so cute in the cor kind of more olive green, army green color. Patch pockets on the front, total 70s vibes. Um, and this one was a size 10. And then I found a Bowden skirt. This is the new Bowden tag. It's um, the cursive, the Bowden's almost always a cursive font, but this one is a little bit more, kind of looks like more rushed and, and the other one looks more loopy. Um, this one looks more like angular a little bit and then it has that yellow dot in the back. This is really cute. I think it's a four petite, just a really pretty print. Perfect for again this spring summertime. It's got polka dots and florals. I love that combination. All right, y'all, almost to the home stretch. I have been looking through maternity wear and I have been finding very, very little. Um, but I found these. I didn't even check comps. They weren't priced very high, so I was excited. I want to try them out. Um, size 27, J. Crew maternity jeans. Again, remember when I was telling y'all Hatch? I've been looking for Hatch in the thrift store. <laughs> I've yet to find it. Um, but those current Elliott Hatch jeans sold really well for me last year. So, you know, I'm still on the lookout. I think maternity wear is one that's definitely, there's definitely opportunity in that category. That hasn't been fully tapped into yet. So yeah, these are boyfriend style jeans, maternity. I am very excited to try these out and just get more experience within the maternity section. And so in the final piece, y'all, we I made it to the end, is this incredibly soft, oh, it's so soft, um, Anthropology Moth. I need to clean that tag better again. But if you can see, it says Moth by Anthropology. That means it is a newer piece. If it says anthropology on the tag, that means it's newer. It's something that they just started doing maybe a few years ago, a couple years ago. This is a size small. It's just such a cute, cozy cardigan. Super, super soft knit uh, with the shawl front, patch pockets. Beautiful, what is this, cerulean blue? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. But that's what I'm gonna go with. Cerulean blue <laughs> color. Um, oh, so cute. Size small, so soft. I love soft, cozy sweaters, y'all. Okay, we made it. Those are over 40 pieces, and I've got to now photograph them, get them listed, get them up in my Poshmark closet, get some of them sent off to the real rail. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained by this video. Um, I'm excited uh, that you chose to spend your time with me today. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up on this video, but more importantly, please subscribe. It means the world to me, and I'm just so grateful uh, that any of y'all choose to spend your precious time with me. So thank you. I love y'all so much. Have a fabulous, productive, wonderful day. I will talk to y'all next time. Bye!